Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, been waiting to talk to you about um, Reggie and Gabby because um, me and my friends, we have some serious questions, you know, <laughs> people that, you know, kind I kind of chat with in, in the fandoms and on some of the boards. Um, so first of all, is Reggie playing with Gabby? Man, look, you know what? If you tune in on Monday nights at Fox on 9, 8 Central, you might find out. <laughs> that is slick. That is slick. Okay. Oh, no, okay. I mean, I you know, I don't think I don't I don't I don't think um I don't think that Reggie's a mean spirited person. I don't think that uh you know he has any negative intentions towards anybody. I'll say that much. Okay, okay, I'll take that. Think, I'll take that. I think that he he feels very seen by Gabby. Uh, I think that she brings out a different side of him. And that's always genuine. Okay. I like that. That's a safe answer. I like that one. Um, so, so what is um, what is Sidarius? What do you think of Reggie and Gabby and all that happening? Um, well, what do I think of Gabby and Reggie? Um, I, you know, I had the pleasure of growing up with some very beautiful, powerful women that had their lives kind of turned around and turned upside down um, due to, you know, having children or, you know, different catastrophic events and stuff. Also, not that having a child is catastrophic, but I'm saying other catastrophic events and stuff that had happened in their lives and kind of derailed them um, and, and you know, brought them to a place in life that they, they had never expected to be. Um, I think that when Reggie meets her, that we're both at kind of a... <sighs> a desperate crossroads um, where this is literally the make or break moment in, this is a make or break moment in our lives. And I think that realizing that we need each other in order to, to make it to this next step or cross this threshold, um, that becomes um, direly important. Um, and I think that when we spend time with people um, who are able to provide us with the things that we need in life, we end up growing really strong bonds to them. Um, and so, this is one of the this is one of those kind of bonds um i love the fact that they are um vulnerable with each other um that you know reggie is able to learn from her um and that reggie is also able to fight for her um you know at, at that point you know in the show and to prove to her that she deserves to be fought for so um, that was that was really intriguing for me uh, reading the first episode uh, because it is kind of an odd coupling, an odd pairing. Um, you know, I guess if if you're just looking at it, you know, at first glance, but there's something deeper there for these characters, and it's it's pure, and I think it's 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 beautiful. Uh, I agree, it is beautiful, and I know I know several women um big curvy girls like me who are like um wishing for this have been wishing for this type of treatment on tv that's not pathetic and that's not you know a pitiful or you know you're right. not it's not simple no. there's no, no sympathy in there it's just people two people I think that he, he needs him. he needs her more than she needs him to be perfectly honest oh that's evident you yeah. know <laughs> but but um the fact that he's he's so he he's willing to fight for her even when she doesn't think that she is worth it and he's just met her like they still there's only been like days um i think that might be what i mean your viewership needs you know that that little self esteem boost mm. a little it. therapy <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so you you've always played like characters that have been really in really like diverse um groupings Mm -hmm. um thinking back to the jumanji crowd and i mean and this one is great you've got diversity in you know ethnicity you've got diversity in sexuality and even in body type and you know um occupation because there's a my sex favorite, worker on the yeah. favorite thing about the show yeah Go ahead so the... do you do you seek these roles out or do they find you i seek them out 100 percent um being a large man of color i get typecast often um as the athlete um and early on in my career i made a 
clear distinction to my my entire team that I wanted to play real humans, uh, real characters that are fighting for something. So though I've said, I mean, I can say to myself, I've, I've played six football players in my career um, and six specifically in the last eight years, right? But of those six, this is uh, only two of them have ever actually had, two of those storylines have ever had anything to do with football, you know? Jumanji didn't have anything to do with football. Footloose didn't have anything to do with football. This show is not about football. This is about the human beings and what they do outside of what their professions are. Um, the commitment to diversity that um, this show has has shown, um, you know, in the last year and a half that I've been working on it, um, has been nothing short of um, inspiring. Uh, because that diversity does not just stop in front of the camera. Uh, it actually is behind the camera as well. We have two woman uh, camera operators. Um, our writer's room is diverse, with people from every walk of life. Um, the directors that we've worked with, gay, straight, black, white, Puerto Rican, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, we've had literally every, um, every type of person represented on this show. And it's been really, really refreshing that it didn't feel like, and this like on the nose, like here, I'm going to be really diverse and put all these people together just to show that we're, we're down, we're hit. And it wasn't like that. It was just, these are the best people available for the job. And this is what they look like. This is what they happen to look like. Um, and that's the world that I grew up in. I grew up in Miami, Florida. I went to college in New York. I live in Los Angeles, um, you know, working in Chicago now. And when I step outside my door, this is what these people look like. And that's been, that's been so refreshing. It's been incredible. Uh, but yeah, I definitely always try to keep a very diverse career because I don't want to be put in a box because that gets boring. And if I wanted boredom, I would have stayed in, in med school, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's a um, question for another time. Med school? Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that the medical profession is boring, but for me, I, I couldn't, couldn't stay on the books for 10 years. But yeah. I but. mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, a conversation for another time because I've got questions there. But um, mm -hmm. I want to talk about I've 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 looked at your credits, and mm -hmm. I saw your directing credit, and you're, you're and looked at some of your work in the writing. Is are we gonna see more? Maybe with this show? Maybe. You never know. You never know. Um, in this show, maybe not this year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on helping build out the characters for sure. Uh, but it's definitely something that I want to do. It's definitely something that I've, I've actually had a couple of the guest directors talk to me about, uh, even as recently as yesterday. Um, it's, uh, it's something very near and dear to my heart, but I always joke that I'll do that when uh, I'm a little bit more uh, patient, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Because you've really got to be extremely patient and um, have very strong delegation skills to, to be able to direct. Um, but I do write. Um, I have directed some stuff um, in the past. Um, but it's it, like I said, it's a long, arduous process. Um, and I'm still I'm still learning. You know, I try to be a student of, of the craft on a daily basis. Um, I kind of obsess over it. Um, and so, yeah, it's definitely something that I want to, I want to, you know, put my hand to in a very serious way, um, in the years to come, but right now I'm still having a lot of fun with acting, um, and coming up with ideas, coming up with con concepts. And so the producing is probably the, the, the closest thing to me right now. Uh, and I have a couple of projects that I'm producing that'll be out in the, in the, uh, next year or so. Okay. Anything you can like tell us about? Nope. Of course not. Of course not. Uh, I'm working on a really dope psychological thriller um, called oh. The Door Under the Staircase. Um, I can't really give you too much about it, but um, I would I would call it it's in the the the, the horror psychological thriller um, sector about uh, a young man who has suppressed a lot of uh, very traumatic memories, and they all kind of come back all at once as he is at the the peak of his career. Um, and it's it's a it's kind of about uh, guilt and allowing you know those things to kind of eat us up and not speaking up and helping those around us when we have opportunities to. Um, but it's it's really great. A uh, good friend of mine, director that I worked with years ago, named Jessica Janos, um, co-wrote it and is uh, directing it 
um, I'm co-producing it um, okay. along with a friend, uh, James Kickbiter as well. It's just gonna, it'll be out next year. Awesome, I'll look for it, I'll look for it, thank you. Um, so what can you tell us, you know, my friends and I who are going back to the big leap, what can you tell us about Reggie that we haven't seen yet that won't give away anything anything that you'll get, you know, slap on the wrist for, um, but from the studio, but what can you tell us more about Reggie that we haven't, we don't know yet, we haven't seen Reggie's, yet? Reggie's uh, misunderstood, um, you know, as many of us are. Uh, he doesn't want to be forgotten, you know, um, and football is all he's ever been known for. And so I think he's exploring, finding, you know, where he exists outside of football, what makes him special outside of that. And Gabby is kind of helping him find that. Mm -hmm. um, the show is helping him find that. Um, and I think coming face to face with the fact that, you know, without football, he might not be able to make as much money as he did. And what does that look like to now the people that you have, you know, been helping for years, um, you know, friends, family, et cetera. These are all questions that I even have um, personally. And it's something that I hope that we'll get a, an opportunity to explore more, you know, as the season goes on. But, um, you know, uh, when you're a team guy, you know, when you're an athlete, you are, you fall in love with routine. And when you lose that thing, I think you lose a sense of identity. I, I find it in myself too. Um, I approach the arts kind of like an athlete as well. You know, I played sports all growing up. And so sometimes when I'm not doing my art thing, I feel like I've lost myself. Like, I'm like, what am I worth? You know, I think we all kind of have those thoughts, you know? Um, so not letting what you do define you becomes uh, a really, really big part of, of Reggie's journey. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to the viewers and stuff getting an opportunity to see that. And we're looking forward to, to it too. And um, I know you can answer the question, but I think a lot of us are hoping that the Gabby Reggie thing happens. If, you know, you can get little Miss Thing out of the way. Um, the skinny girl. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so we'll be watching for that and rooting for you. Um, I, 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 like I said, I really, really love the show so far and I'm looking forward to more. Oh, uh, thank um, you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys make the show go. Um, you know, every time you watch it. So, you know, we're, we're really, really excited and uh, grateful for you guys. You know? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for giving me a little bit of your time. Um, I got to run. I got, you know, bedtime and kids and they're about to get feral. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, thank, like, thanks again for, you know, sliding me in last minute. So. Oh, of course. Of course. Thanks for having me. Sorry that all the scheduling yeah, stuff. No problem. No problem, no problem. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.